cool blog from the same room in Hamburg where I made another blog that wasn't so cool. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, welcome to this one. Let's pose for the thumbnail. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Today was an epic day, super stressful. I don't know how much memory is left on my phone. That's why I'm talking really quickly because this could stop at any minute. And oh my God, I did so, so, so much. Um, yeah, let's, let's recap. <laughs> Woke up early had some phone time, managed to shower, had some virtual assistant time, coordinating stuff, planning the day, um, talking about tasks, uh, specifics, and also generals, again, systems, the love of my life. And then uh, I was trying to set up a, um, a call where we could, that he could, we could be on Zoom and he could control my iPad remotely so that he can help me with some work that is only local, unfortunately. Almost everything is digital and cloud-based and whatever these days, but for local stuff, it's really tricky. So I was like, ah, I managed to get it on my iPad because I didn't want to not have access to my laptop while he's doing that. Because, you know, yeah, I don't have a problem with that. He can just control my laptop. He can select that it's just a window or whatever. Um, and I could go to other stuff, but, but I do everything on my laptop. So even on my iPad, I can't do that much. So we ended up not having the call in the morning, unfortunately. So I was like, ah, oh, shit, I can't have this body doubling it's not the accurate term for that that's something else but yeah this this doubling of workforce uh in the really important hours where i needed it but um anyway we had to call later and figured out that that's actually not possible with an ipad i really hate that phrase maybe it is somehow possible even with an ipad but you know apple's very restrictive due to security and um, exclusivity of their ecosystem and whatever and success of the app store <laughs> so there didn't seem to be a valuable quick solution how he could help me with that working remotely so we had to scrap that so that was a lot of t testing and researching I did some work for my um do you say mandate in english no just client business client um like throughout the day interspersed and was very able to be very reactive and, and kind of present quickly which has um, been something that i really struggled with in the past uh, so both actually doing quality work and responding quickly, you know, you can imagine how stressful that is, right? This is like one of the main reasons that people get burnout. But I wanted to be able to do it so that I know I can do it. Um, yeah, while well, also having online uh, tutor tutoring sessions throughout the day, meeting up with a friend for almost two hours spontaneously, and then coming home and meeting up online with a friend who needed help with her business. And so I helped her with the technical side and a little bit of like figuring out, okay, what do you need to do? And then we were chatting on the side while waiting for stuff um, about her business development and um, coaching. It was really, really cool. Like two hours with an old friend helping them. Simultaneously also doing my thing on the side constantly, responding, organizing my further tutoring sessions. Um, yeah, turns out I, my scheduling systems are still not on point. So I did get cut off, but oh well. Let's keep going because I downloaded everything to my computer and now it's uploading to the cloud. I love this life. Right, so let's keep going through my calendar because that was only like 2 p.m. <laughs> but I won't make it boring for you. So essentially, I had back-to-back -back meetings planned and I was panicking about how am I going to do my client work then. And thank goodness, one of those meetings got cancelled. I was like, oh, then I was able to eat this massive bowl of literally everything. I just shoved it all in. I had like one whole mozzarella just in there. <laughs> and raw onions and God knows what. It was delicious though. And then, oh, that's not showing up. Okay. Um, yeah, then thanks to that, I had this little break and I was able to keep working with my assistant on his tasks and organizing them. And we have like this really awesome communication going now using Notion and Slack and everything is really, yeah, just very flowy. Um, nothing gets lost anymore. That was a huge problem. A lot of things I used to just type out of efficiency or honestly, maybe it was actually laziness. It was like the illusion that it's easier for me to type it and he'll deal with it. So I was just loading him with the with the with a lot more backlog than was necessary. You know, so I, then I thought about like um, extreme ownership. I was like, these are tasks that I'm giving that are for my benefit and I'm paying for. I need to be more in control of the tasks themselves. I need to have more clarity over them. I need to be able to make sure they're not gonna get lost. And yeah, make sure that they're coming across in full 
cl yeah, full clarity again, full detail with also including how important it is for when it is, you know, just this whole communication work, this mental load. I was just taking the, the quick way out because I thought, you know, I'm too busy for this. But this is something that I have to prioritize. And so as soon as I took that extra step, and also I'm the one that's able to organize and create the systems and communicate in the best way possible because they're my, my tasks and I know what's going on and I have all these connections in my mind that I have to express to anyone else because they're not in my mind. So anyway, that's what I've been doing. And so yeah, we have this amazing system just with two apps plus cloud. We're currently deciding how to um, incorporate Dropbox and or Google Drive because they both have pros and cons and that's really annoying that there's no like one definitive winner and especially when working with other people, it just gets really messy with either of them, I think, which, yeah, just really annoys me because I had managed to integrate almost everything into one. And then the other, I've done a huge migration. That was a pain in the butt. Um, I knew all the ins and outs, but and pros and cons, but just for me. So, okay, enough of that. Um, yeah, so I've essentially, I finished teaching at like half past seven, a bit before, 20 past, and dove right into a call that was going on from the Yes Fam, the amazing, uh, huge community that has happened because of the Yes Theory channel. And someone had an amazing initiative that I probably shouldn't disclose either, but I got so excited by that, I was like, I need to be a part of this. And I'm gonna see, just, I'm gonna see how it develops, of course, the idea sounds amazing, the, the main person who's creating this seems like they're really going to do a great job of it. And so just those two things already, I mean, the community is impressive as well. So just those three things make me really want to get right in to the middle and help build this, this, this ship, the this spaceship, this father, mother, it's going to be great. And so, yeah, I was in that call until like, 20 minutes ago, and now I have to go party. <laughs> you don't hear that very often, do you? No, I, I want to go party with, at a friend's place because I love those people and I miss that friend and I'm sleeping over anyway. Uh, but yeah, it was one hell of a day, eh? Whew. Note to self, not so much multitasking that is enforced. If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it because I want to, because it feels good in my own style and timing. Okay, so that's, my phone's gonna stop recording any second now. If it stops now, thank you for watching. I hope you had a few takeaways and I'll see you in the next one.